former President Donald Trump just published a statement detailing his position on abortion and the political restraints on it and why it should be left as a state issue. Now, many of you may think that the issue I'm going to raise with it is that it's not a federal ban and it allows murder to be permitted in many different states. But I kind of understand where he's coming from in terms of a more federalist and even just a strategic position. The issue I actually raise most with this statement lies within the first minute in his support of IVF. Under my leadership, the Republican Party will always support the creation of strong, thriving, and healthy American families. We want to make it easier for mothers and families to have babies, not harder. That includes supporting the availability of fertility treatments like IVF in every state in America. Like the overwhelming majority of Americans, including the vast majority of Republicans, conservatives, Christians, and pro-life Americans, I strongly support the availability of IVF for couples who are trying to have a precious baby. What could be more beautiful or better than that? The Republican Party should always be on the side of the miracle of life and the side of mothers, father, their beautiful babies, and that's what we are. IVF is an important part of that, and our great Republican Party will always be with you in your quest for the ultimate joy in life. Now, at a first glance, IVF may seem like a good thing. It allows previously infertile couples to be able to have children. But in fact, there's a real dark side to IVF. In vitro fertilization results in thousands of embryos that are essentially discarded because the eggs and the sperms are combined and they only actually need one of those embryos, but they make a lot because just in case one doesn't work, they can just bring out an arm. If you accept the typical Christian position that embryos are human beings, then that really means that it's resulting in a lot of unnecessary death and even murder. IVF also goes hand in hand with the surrogacy industry, which is a very questionable industry that basically involves the selling of babies, which last I checked is very morally questionable and I mean, I thought we were against slavery. But anyway, I'm not trying to say that you can't vote for Donald Trump. I'm not trying to say that he's evil or even that anyone who holds this position is very anti-Christian. IVF is such a new thing that most people don't really think about it too much. They just think, oh, now people are able to have more babies. Good. That's conservative, right? The main point I'm just trying to raise is that Republicans becoming the party of IVF or party of surrogacy is very dangerous. Essentially, that means they're becoming the party of murder and slavery. I think IVF is something that conservatives, especially Christians, really need to be aware of and steer clear of. That's just my two cents.